from a boat can you see the real damage. At least $17 million worth to the Santa Cruz Harbor, another $4 million lost in private boats. It's all broken up. The U-Dock took the worst beating of all. Half of it wiped out. That's where Jody Connolly's boat, his home, was parked. It's one of 18 now sitting at the bottom of the harbor. It was really, really hard to watch the boat flip upside down and get crushed under the dock, um, you know, and sink. I mean, there's nothing like it. And the sounds are just, you know, they're horrifying to listen to boats cracking and docks snapping. And 24 hours later, crews were focusing on one thing, pulling up the wreckage. Pollution control, a top priority. A sheen of oil and fuel has leaked out from some of the vessels. Divers spent the day scoping for other spills, while the Coast Guard tried to figure out the best way to remove sunken boats. Using airbags that we put underneath the vessels, basically like large balloons in a sense, that you put underneath, fill with air, and it helps raise it up. There's other things like cranes. As workers pulled pieces of the dock out of the water, people who lived on the wrecked boats are trying to piece their lives together. Some of them are angry that the harbor, they say, didn't support them. We were told to go over and talk to the harbor people, but then the, 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 the said they were closed. So there's nobody there to talk to. Port Director Lisa Eaker says her agency will help people who've lost property with the worst cases at the top of the list. In the meantime, Connolly says the best of humanity has come out in the worst of times. I've had a lot of people offer, you know, a lot of stuff to me, so I really appreciate that. I want to thank the community for coming together for us. At the Santa Cruz Harbor, Stephanie Tron, KSBW, Action News 8. They're going up again. It's expensive, it's painful. I need to uh, travel cross country and I don't know if I can. And people are feeling the pinch. Basically. And it's gone up, uh, I would say, 20 cents in two days. Steve Flores drives his Ford F-150 from Salinas to San Jose every week for work. Filling up costs him a pretty penny. On the average, well, it was 60 to 65, but over the past two weeks, it's gone to a couple times, it's been close to $80. The average price of regular insulinus is $3.85 a gallon. That's what we found at the John Street Valero. The cheapest we found was at the NTG on East Alisal at $3.83 a regular. While the Shell and Chevron on South Main were the most expensive at $3.95 and $3.96. And I, I feel bad for these people that only put in $5 or $10 at a, at a time. As people dig deeper into their wallets, others are feeling the pain at the pump. The store clerk here at the Shell on South Main tells me that every other customer every day now complains, asking her when will the gas prices go down. You hear customers all the time come and complain. I want to know when is the fuel prices going down? The cashiers here does not know. Royal Edwards says four bucks is nothing. People is freaking out right now. They should go to England, where it's ten dollars a gallon. Hawaii, almost nine dollars a gallon. I travel around the world and I see six and seven dollars a gallon. We're just babied. That may be, but that won't be enough for those gearing up to take the wheel, like Steve Flores' 16-year-old daughter, who's ready to get her license. A lot of that's going to be put on hold. In Salinas, Stephanie Trong, KSBW, Action News 8. That these puppies were in a lot of pain. These two pit bull terrier pups had their ears clipped by a man posing as a veterinarian. Their Soledad owner called a man by the name of Damien Maldonado after friends passed him this business card. Targeting Spanish speakers, it advertises everything from artificial insemination to general surgeries. The original owner of these beautiful puppies um, paid Mr. Maldonado, hired him to perform ear cropping. Problem is, Maldonado is not a licensed vet. He clipped the ears in the owner's dirty backyard using no anesthetics and cut them with scissors. Instead of medical sutures, he used fishing line and their ears quickly became infected. Just can spread throughout the body and they can get pretty sick. Maldonado's number is listed with a 209 area code, indicating somewhere in the Central Valley. We tried to reach him, but the line's been disconnected. We're sure that there's probably more people out there who's, who've been victimized by this, this man. The SPCA says the number of animals being neglected and or abused is on the rise, and that goes beyond just dogs. It also affects the animals like these horses that were found in distress recently, a likely sign of the bad economic times as owners look to or need to take shortcuts. People cannot afford to to care for them any longer and you know definitely 
without judgment. Please, we do not judge people who bring their animals to us. That's what we're here for. While these puppies recover, the SPCA is offering $1,000 for information leading up to Maldonado's arrest. So you see red a little bit, but then, you know, the lights get a lot brighter and I get a lot happier when I know that we're going we're gonna to find this person. Making sure no other helpless animal becomes victim to such cruelty. In Monterey County, Stephanie Trong, KSBW, Action News 8.